welcome everybody to a very special video. As you can see, I am ready for Halloween. If you guys are not already in the Halloween spirit, this video will help. Basically, I'm gonna be talking about movies. More specifically, five movies you can watch on Halloween. Now, these are not in any particular order. It's, this is just a list video. It's not a top five video. So without further ado, let's begin. Want to watch something spooky this year? Then Ghostbusters is that movie. It is a movie about four men who hunt ghosts for a living. It is filled with creepy ghosts and loads of funny moments. You won't get bored at all with this movie. It also has one of the best songs, which is on everyone's Halloween party music playlist. With familiar faces of Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Harold Ramis, Ernie Hudson, Sigourney Weaver, and more. This movie is one you're not going to want to miss. If you're a horror fan, then you have probably heard of this movie. Trick or Treat is a 2007 movie about a little demon named Sam who stalks and kills people who are lacking the Halloween spirit. It has a story interwoven and an interesting plot. This movie will force you to get into the spirits this year, or he will find you. <laughs> of course there is gore, silly. This is a horror movie. If you want a good scare, then I recommend watching Trick or Treat this Halloween. Just don't let this little guy show up at your front porch. It's showtime! If you haven't seen this classic movie, then what are you waiting for? Beetlejuice is about a married couple, played by Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin, who gets killed in a car accident. As ghosts, they have to deal with a family that moves in. They call a spirit, Beetlejuice, to scare away the new residents. Can you be scary? Oh! Oh, I know they're asking me. Can I be scary? What do you think of this? <laughs> you like it? With faces such as Michael Keaton, Winona Ryder, Kathleen O'Hara, etc. If you like Tim Burton and you love comedy, then you really need to watch this amazing creepy movie and just plain genius. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Uh-oh. Tim Burton is back on this list once again. I can't say enough about this movie. It is a work of art and catches your eye. The movie is about Jack Skellington, the king of Halloween Town, who is getting bored of the same old thing every Halloween. After randomly stumbling in a forest of holiday-shaped doorways, he ventured into Christmas Town and was intrigued enough to try to take over Christmas by kidnapping Santa Claus. With a little help, of course. Jack sent for us. Specifically. By name. Look. Shock. Barrel. But soon learns that he is better off being scary. The movie is entirely stop motion. It is very impressive with that fact. And you know we can't talk about this movie without talking about the music. Oh my. We can't make a list of Halloween movies without adding this classic horror, 1978's Halloween. If you like horror movies, then check this one out. This movie was directed by one of the most iconic directors in horror, John Carpenter. The movie centers around Michael Myers, who murdered his own sister one Halloween night. Years later, he is back and ready to kill once again. He targets a teenager named Laurie Strode, played by Jamie Lee Curtis. Lori has been stalked by Michael, showing up at random times from afar, but then vanishes without a sound. This movie later spawned many sequels. If you want to get scared this Halloween, then this is the movie for you. Casper is a movie about a father and a daughter who move into a creepy house that is haunted by three mischief-making ghosts and one friendly ghost. Who 
are you gonna call? Someone else. Casper soon falls in love with the daughter, Kat. This movie is very nostalgic and really deserves a watch this Halloween season. What's your favorite scary movie? Just some scary movie. You like scary movies? Uh-huh. What's your favorite scary movie? If it's Scream, then you're in luck. Directed by Wes Craven, Scream is a movie about a murder in a small town of Casey Becker, played by Drew Barrymore. Soon, the ghost-faced killer finds another victim to harass via threatening phone calls. Sidney Prescott, played by Neve Campbell, is being stalked by the killer, which makes her a walking target. This classic whodunit film is a classic and reinvented the horror genre after its film debut back in 1996. And must we not forget how self-aware it is at times. Behind you. I'll turn behind you, behind Jamie. Jamie, turn around. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. The movie did spawn a few sequels. It even spawned a TV series, and most recently, a fifth installment coming in January of 2022, with most of the original cast reprising their roles. They're creepy, they're kooky, mysterious, and spooky. Adam's family are a family that is a bit odd. They find themselves in crazy antics. They have been on the silver screen many times before. If you're in the mood for a laugh and a hunger for Halloween spirit, then give this movie a watch. This movie gives haunted houses a new perspective. Released in 2006, Monster House is a movie about an old house that belonged to Mr. Nebercracker, a scary neighbor that screams at kids to get off his lawn. Is he eaten alive? No! Get out of here! The main character, DJ, finds out his neighbor's house is a monster that lures people in with stuff Nebercracker took from them. With the help of his best friend, Chowder, and a girl they befriended who was almost eaten alive by the house, find out why this house is the way it is. What is interesting about this film is that it was a motion captured film. If you are looking for a movie to watch this Halloween, then consider watching Monster House in the comfort of your own home. And just hope that your house doesn't eat you alive. Yikes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more Screamtober. So yeah, I'm gonna go inside now in the house because it's literally storming outside. But yeah guys, with all that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.